Hey guys, I'm gonna show you a new root method which is very easy. Uh, it works for uh, gingerbread and ICS both. So you just you just you just have to download one file. So I have posted a link you can download from there. Uh, you download it and extract the file. Then you'll get into this. You you'll see these two files and um, connect the phone uh, via USB cable to the PC and uh, put the phone in USB debugging mode by pressing go to settings uh, before that let me show you what I am running on now I am running on uh, gingerbread uh, 2.3.4 and model is this one Galaxy S2 so I am gonna put the oh, sorry we have to put the phone in download mode by going to applications and development and enable USB debugging. I just I have to disconnect it. Enable the USB debugging. Allow and plug the plug the cable again. All right. Uh, device is connected then uh, you just have to run this patch file and press any key then this will load the this will look for the device in circling method so this is gonna take some time uh, it will it will take some time to uh, find the device and root it so this works for gingerbread and ICS both so I'm gonna leave it uh, in here and I'll be coming back when it is finished or oh, what I'll do I will just leave this leave it uh, then you can see what's going on on the screen Normally it takes about uh, five to ten minutes uh, to do this, but it's very easy. And I, I was thinking about installing the uh, Cyanogen mod. Uh, on my phone so that's why I'm gonna root it so maybe I'll post another video in my another video today uh, that shows how to install Cyanogen mod on your phone and also re there's another nice ROM Resurrection Remix uh, that also uh, very stable ROM um, ICS 4.0.4 .4. so I was thinking about installing that also so I'll post another video of that uh, maybe later maybe tomorrow the good thing is uh, once you rooted you have to install the, it's better to install uh, clockwork mode recovery so that you can uh, maybe backup restore ROMs and you can install multiple ROMs uh, and uh, it's very easy uh, in, so by with uh, Android recovery, you, you 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 won't be able to install any custom ROM, so you have to install Clockwork Mode Recovery. So there's a video uh, I have created a video, so you can click on the link uh, on the screen, so you so that so that you can check that out also. Uh, it shows how to root. There's another root method. It's a bit longer, but uh, I I recommend this one is much uh, much better uh, for newbies. And um, uh, in that video, uh, you can see I uh, have rooted the phone in uh, rooted the phone. Then I uh, have installed Clockwork Mode Recovery on it. So what you can do, you can use this method to root instead of that uh, because it's a bit longer and you have to download two files. 
uh, you are actually replacing the kernel uh, in secure kernel, installing the insecure kernel and then install secure kernel so but in this method you don't have to download those those things um, it's a bit easy so what you can do you can do you can follow the follow this method to root your phone then uh, uh, then install clockwork mode, mode recovery by following the previous video So uh, I also thinking about uh, since Ubuntu 12.04. Uh, all right, uh, now you can see it has detected the device, and now it is installing. Uh, now phone is rebooting. Right, let me go there. Applications. And you should be able to see the super user app. Then you can download this connect bot from Android Market. Okay, click on it and uh, log into the local connection and you can type su to see whether our routing is properly done Let me put this on manual focus, it takes a bit of a time. Click on Zoom and enter. You can see uh, it has connected as Zoom, uh, it has granted root permission. That means phone is been rooted successfully. Alright guys, thanks for watching, uh, see you soon.